What's up my little garlic cloves and welcome to JMAX Amateur Kitchen and welcome to Filipino food series episode 8 We're cooking longanisa today aka Filipino breakfast sausage. Let's get a game plan going for this episode one We make the longanisa with a plastic wrap Two we taste the longanisa in its natural habitat aka eggs and garlic rice three We taste test the longanisa with random strangers Let's do this thing! We're starting out with a bulb of garlic. And look, I love garlic, but I hate peeling it, especially when we have a lot of it. So let me show you a little trick. Take a cutting board, throw the garlic right on top, take your palm, and smash it down. One more time. Then grab a mason jar and throw your garlic pieces right in there. Throw the lid on and just shake it up for 30 seconds. And you got peeled garlic. Check that out. And there were just three cloves that didn't get peeled, so I'm gonna peel these quick. Now we just mince and sprinkle with a pinch of salt. Let's get our meat going. We're starting off with a pound of ground pork, followed by our bulb of minced garlic, a quarter cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of annatto powder, one teaspoon of paprika, two teaspoons of ground black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and four tablespoons of water. Roll up your sleeves, and grab a spatula. I'm not getting my hands dirty. Let's mix this together. Once it's incorporated, take some plastic wrap, cover it up, and pop that in the fridge and let it chill for one to two hours. All right, our meat is chilled. Let's start rolling these out. We're gonna cut a little piece of plastic and lay it down flat. We're gonna grab a spoon of our longanisa mixture and lay it down near the bottom of our plastic wrap. We're gonna take the bottom of our plastic wrap and fold it over. Now we can loosely form it into the width we want. Then we just need to roll it up. And now we just twist the ends. And you got a longanisa link. Repeat that process. You've got a plate of longanisa. I'm gonna throw these in a freezer bag. And we're ready to throw these in the freezer. Now, anytime you want longanisa, you can just take a couple out, fry them up for breakfast, and eat them. If you want to make them right away, I suggest you leave them in the freezer for one to two hours first. We're gonna leave ours in the freezer overnight. And come back in the morning. What is going on? Why isn't it working? Ah, there we go. All right, we have our longanisa. Completely frozen. If you don't believe these are longanisa, Proof. Let's start frying these up. Get a pan over on the stove top. We're gonna set that to medium heat. Oh wait! I just realized we need to unwrap the longanisa first. Sorry about that. Let's go back over there quick. Come on. We got a bowl filled with lukewarm water. Now all we gotta do is take our wrapped frozen longanisa. Just kind of dip these in and unwrap. Done. Plate. Next. You get the picture, right? All right, for real this time. Medium heat. I'm gonna drop in a tablespoon of oil. This is grape seed. And we're gonna drop in our longanisa. Now I'm just gonna cook these for a couple minutes to get some color. All right, now that we got some good color, I'm gonna dump in a few tablespoons of water. We're gonna cover those up and let that steam for about 10 minutes. All right, these are ready to go. Get yourself a plate, throw on some garlic rice, a couple of crispy fried eggs, and finish that off with our longanisa. <sighs> and you got a beautiful Filipino breakfast. Let's grab one of these guys. Get a little garlic rice. Oh, <laughs> mm, now that is good. No need for maple syrup. That brown sugar covers it. It's so incredibly garlicky. Just my style. Mm. I'm gonna have to make a bigger batch to keep in my freezer. But don't take my word for it. I can't be trusted. Let's get some random people in here to see what they think. First up, bring in our rich businessman. <sighs> 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 
elegant texture, smooth flavor profile. I deem this as delicious. Next. Okay. Ooh, what do we have here? Quite delicious. Next. Oh. Ah. Oh, Cam J. Oh, J Mac. I didn't know you were gonna be here. Well, it is my house. I guess that makes sense. Let's try this. Oh, wow, dude. This pork longanisa is amazing. And there you have it. That's Filipino pork longanisa. Look, if you like this recipe and you're not subscribed, well then subscribe. We're doing new videos every week. And as always, thank you. Or for my Filipinos, salamat.